Hey, I'm Carbo Brother. I'm Chris Nelson, president of Carbo. Really excited to introduce a new lineup we've got for the Ruger PC carbine. So muzzle brake to control some of that felt recoil and muzzle flip, and then also an extended magazine release. So this little magazine release that's on here is plastic. It's pretty short as well. So trying to do some quick transitions. It really takes a second to look for it, find it, and then when you push it in, it's kind of hard to actually get the mag out. So what we've designed is an extended magazine release that's going to allow you to easily compress that magazine release while simultaneously pulling your mag, which would be great for any sort of PCC competition. Not to mention a muzzle brake is a must. You've got a threaded barrel, and if you're going to do any shooting or any competing, I highly recommend it. Just makes sense. Really great way to trick out your PC carbine, get a good start on it. We've also got a spring kit to help reduce that trigger pull as well. Let's get on over tabletop, take a look at these two items we've got for the PC carbine. Parts and tools needed for this build, the Ruger PC carbine muzzle brake by M Carbo. It's an A311 stress proof carbon steel muzzle brake, comes in nine millimeter and 40. Also comes with this wrench so that you can tighten the jam nut against the muzzle brake. Love that we don't have any sort of set screws that have to go into the muzzle brake to lock it to the barrel. It won't screw up the factory threads on your barrel. We've also got the Ruger PC carbine extended magazine release. This is 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. Phenomenal replacement. It's going to give you a more premium material. This is plastic. It's also going to give you that height extension, which makes it much easier to release that magazine when you intend to, of course, and drop the mag. Also, you've got the option of adding some rock set to this muzzle brake. It's got a 1500 degree temp rating, far superior to red Loctite or blue Loctite. Has the same strength properties as blue Loctite, so it is removable, which is nice. Only two simple tools needed for this installation. You're going to need a 1 16th Allen key and a 5 64th Allen key. So we can go ahead and pop these open, take a nice quick look at them give us an idea of what we're working with here. So the Ruger PC carbine muzzle brake comes in nine mil and 40. All right, there it is there. Really superior muzzle brake here. I love this. So the 45 degree slant here, these ports are for reducing that recoil. All right, so it'll reduce felt recoil and this port up top is gonna to reduce that muzzle flip. So it's redirecting the gases in all three directions. So out the sides and out the top, really helping to stabilize that platform. And then the jam nut corresponds with it. And this is, you tighten the muzzle brake on and you tighten the jam nut against it. And it's that counter pressure that's gonna hold it in place. You don't have to worry about using a set screw and really galling those threads on your barrel. And then this little wrench comes with it, really helps. Rock set's also a great addition to help keep it on that barrel. You don't want to use blue Loctite, you don't want to use red Loctite. You really want to use something that's got the heat temperature rating that you need and then the strength properties of something removable, which is right there in the rock set. Ruger PC Carbine Extended Magazine Release. Love it. 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. We've also got gator back texturing on here, which is phenomenal. I love this. Really nice little serrations. They're not sharp, but they're grippy. So it's really cool. This is a proprietary technique that we've got here. Really love this. You'll probably see us start rolling it out on some more items. I think you guys are gonna be a big fan. So really like the way it feels, the texture, and it's a simple drop-in replacement. It's gonna give you more real estate there. If you're looking for that magazine release, it'll be much easier to find. It'll be much more consistent, good little touch point as well. Perfect, it's gonna allow you to press that mag release and drop your mag at the same time. So it'll be nice, smooth transition. Press, pull, done. As usual, before we get started, let's go ahead and check our firearms together, make sure they're clear, check the chamber, check the bolt face, check the magazine well, this firearm's clear. So I really want to get started with replacing this plastic mag release first. You can see magazine, no ammo. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of demo what it's like. So right now you got to press it, press it, press it, then it releases. So you can see how far, how deep you got to go. And that's once you're able to find it, you know, you've got your hand on here on the fore end, you come back and you're looking for it. You know, I realize these are here to protect it from being hit, but it's weird because you're almost searching for it. You find that, you find that. You know, this is doing it without looking, obviously. You gotta keep your eyes on the target. So it's really kind of difficult to find, really not ideal for any sort of competition or even really any sort of regular shooting or much less if you had to defend your life with it. It's something that doesn't really allow an easy touch point or a smooth transition. So not to mention how far you have to depress it to get it to release. So not ideal. Let's just measure it really quick to see what kind of height you get. So you get 81 thousandths. Very, very minimal. Uh, yeah, not good. So the little protectors are 109. Not really necessary to have all these little protectors here. I mean, yeah, it's preference, I suppose, but I think a lot of you guys are gonna like this. Considering the main tactical advantage and the speedy transitions you're gonna have, much more important than having a little 
protector around your magazine release. So the one and a half millimeter Allen key is all we need here to loosen up that screw. Comes right out. And there's your factory mag release right there. Plastic, cheap. You can see it's just a little injection molded part. Yeah, it's worth upgrading. Now that the plastic mag release is removed, we've got our 6061 aircraft grade aluminum mag release. Really phenomenal part. Comes with the 832 by half inch flathead screw to go right in that countersink. Really nice premium look. Really tight fit and finish there. Really love this part. Simple. So we just drop in the screw and then we get it to thread over top, compressing that spring. Take your 564 Allen key and tighten it right up. Now you do have the option of using some Loctite or if you'd like, you can go ahead and use that rock set. So I'm just gonna throw a quick little dab of rock set on there. It's got the same strength properties as the blue Loctite, which is removable. So it doesn't hurt to use it on other threads. Although that's not really what it's intended for. It's intended for the high temp rating. So if you wanna save your rock set, go ahead and use your blue 242. But if that's all you got, better to use a couple drops of that. So now it's gonna, it's good and snug. So now it's, oh man, that is money right there. So check this out. So magazine goes in. Now we're just looking to see how much do we have to depress this for it to release the mag. Awesome. So I hope you can see that. Not nearly as bad as what we had to do before. Let's just get a good little measurement on there because I'm actually curious myself here. So 96 thousandths. So it's basically the height of what the factory mag release was where it started. So when we depress it, your mag's gonna release right there at that 96 thousandths, which is perfect. Before this tiny little mag release, you really had to depress this all the way into the stock, completely negative through the hole. I mean, that's not very functional that you have to stick your finger basically through your stock to get your mag to drop. So now you've got a great touch point, your offhand up there on the front of the forehand, coming back, grabbing that mag simultaneously, just a smooth transition. Whereas before it was like, eh, where is it? Now it's just operator level now. We're running and gunning, love it. This is a really common sense, straightforward upgrade. Mag release is done. Now we're gonna transition down here to the barrel. Simply remove the thread protector. All right, that little O-ring that comes with it and then just get that little O-ring off of there. Since we're working on this uh, muzzle right here, what do you guys think about this front sight? Are you guys interested in a front sight replacement that's got a fiber optic? Really seriously considering that. A nice fiber optic replacement, something similar with the wings and everything else. We can adjust the height if you'd like it as well. If you wanted it to co-witness with your, with your red dot optic, let us know. We're definitely kind of in the planning stage right now. So then grab your rock set Put a little bit on the threads of that jam nut. You know, just do like three drops all the way around. That'll be plenty. I'm gonna rock it on there, so now we just simply thread on the jam nut first. You can see that smooth little collar portion is facing the end of the barrel. You wanna get it all the way hand tight there. And then we're gonna take a little bit of rock set and put it inside the muzzle brake on the threads. Same deal, you know, just a dab every third of the way. Now we'll go ahead and tighten it on up. Okay, so it's good and tight. So now we back it off until it's completely level up top. And then we're going to take our blue tempered steel wrench and we're going to tighten up the jam nut against the muzzle brake. There we go, nice and snug. It's that easy. 
So now we've got the muzzle brake on there, right? Nice and solid. Now let that rock set obviously cure for a good 24 hours before you take it out and shoot it. But there we go. So we've got muzzle brake on our PC carbine. Looks awesome. And we've got an extended magazine release, good common sense, competition level upgrades. Heck of a way to really trick out the PC carbine. Well, there you go, guys. A really simple, straightforward way to really trick out your PC carbine. We've got a muzzle brake on there, and then we've got an extended magazine release. Really just makes sense now that we can actuate this magazine release without having to completely push our finger through the stock. It's just a smooth transition. Just so much more efficient than what we had before, where you're almost fumbling around looking for your magazine release. So definitely excited about it. Plus more premium material is going to last a lifetime. CNC machine, 6061 aircraft grade aluminum, black hard coat anodized. Then the A311 stress proof carbon seal muzzle brake. It's got those 45 degree ports and the port out top. So it works like a muzzle brake and a compensator in that it helps reduce some of that felt recoil and muzzle flip. So it's a nice good way to control that platform, control the end of that muzzle so you're not jumping around having to reacquire your target round after round. It's much more stable, much more smooth. Really excited about it. Great upgrades for the PC carbine. More on the way. Let us know what you guys are interested in. Thank you, Carbo Brotherhood, for your ideas and your support. As always, happy shooting. <laughs>